Hello and welcome to Ivory Blush Roses. It's been quite a while since I've been in here, my friends. I had so many plans for 2020 and so many projects that I really was motivated and wanted to get accomplished. There were a lot of things that kind of got in the way of that. So that's what this video is about and kind of to give you an idea of the plan going forward. I, I found this year to be one of the busiest I have ever had. And while I hope to stay on task with stitching, I got derailed pretty quickly. The first thing that happened in January of 2020 was that a longtime friend of mine moved back to the States after 15 years abroad. I offered my guest room to them as a place to stay temporarily while they got their footing back in the U.S., figured out a place to live and what they were doing here. That expected two to six week visit turned into nine months. I actually found it really difficult to stitch. I found it because I just couldn't focus. I found it very difficult to film um, while they were here. Well, I just didn't make the progress that I had hoped to do. That was certainly one big thing. A second big thing is that my poor kitty Thomas, he was 19. Um, he ended up passing away in June, but he was pretty sick the last few months of his life. And so he took a lot of time and a lot of care. And that took me away from stitching as I took care of him. I did get a new kitty at the end of July. His name is Mushu. Kitty Mushu is my number three reason for not getting a whole lot done. Mushu is definitely a lively addition to my life. It's like having a toddler around and we figure he's about the same age as my youngest grandson and they take about the same amount of time. Usually he's all over me and jumping up on things and knocking things over and I'm gonna insert a clip here because he's quite the character. That's the cat. I'll be right back. Yeah, he knocked down a stack of baskets. He's definitely a handful. He's always into something. He's a lot of fun, um, very daring, has no fear, and he can't stand not to be the center of attention. And uh, he keeps me on my toes. Another item that's kept me busy is I became the new owner of Crazy Quilt Magazine, and I'm trying to really put quality content in. So if you're a crazy quilter, and you have things that you have not shared extensively on Facebook or Instagram, I would love to be able to publish your work in the magazine. I'm looking for well-written content, good photographs, and uh, unique content. And we are doing each issue kind of on a theme. So this one was silk ribbon embroidery. The previous one was sparkle. So I'm really excited about that. It's a 40-page magazine. I'm including a stitch book page so that each issue has diagrammed stitches from uh, projects featured in that issue. You can find that at magcloud.com and search for Crazy Quilt Magazine. You can purchase either a print and or digital edition. And so that comes out four times a year. It's not available in stores. You have to order it through MagCloud. And so as you can imagine, that has taken up a lot of my time lately as I work on that. The thing that has kept me exceptionally busy this year has been working on my family's photo and genealogy archive. My mom did extensive genealogy research over 40 years. It was almost a full-time job for her. I became the keeper of all of that. In my last house, it took an entire room to store the results of all her research. And now I have a 10 by 10 storage locker which I really need to get rid of. And it's primarily for that, as well as keeping my seasonal decorations and a few things like suitcases and stuff. But I need to get rid of it. And so I need to condense this significantly. I started sorting photos in August, um, going through and trying to put them chronologically in order and labeling them. And then in October, my sister came and we brought 18 moving boxes of photo albums as well as a couple of tubs and smaller boxes of photos and we went through took all the photos out of albums sorted them labeled them put them chronologically in smaller um, shoebox size boxes then i have been scanning negatives and slides since then all the photo archive is now here in this office. Um, I believe I have 20 shoebox sized boxes packed full of photos. I think I have six boxes of negatives and I have a couple of boxes of oversized photos and things. And then I have 14 
carousels of slides to scan, as well as three enormous notebooks that have three to 500 slides each. So that's what I have been doing. And that has been pretty much my full-time job most of the fall. I will continue doing that. Um, my hope is to have all the slides scanned by the end of this year. If I can do it by the end of June, even better. Um, that's my hope. We'll see how that goes. We, we saw how my hopes went last year with projects. Um, but there's an enormous amount of work there and I need to get it down. We haven't even touched the genealogy stuff yet. So once I get the photo stuff kind of under control, then we'll hit the genealogy stuff and hopefully be able to move that all here and uh, get rid of that storage locker. So about that storage locker, the next thing that's been a big time filler for me has been shifting my rooms around so that I can make room for storage in my small home. I have a uh, few closets and no garage and so to get things like my seasonal decorations from the storage locker I had to be creative. So I'm going to be bringing my big storage shelves here. They're going in what used to be the studio. I've moved all my office into this room which used to be the guest room and now the guest room is really kind of a minor part of that old studio room which has now become storage, guest, and sewing room. So one of these days I'll do a quick tour of that and kind of show you my, my newly imagined spaces. It's still a work in progress. I'm not quite there yet. So those are some of the things that have been keeping me from stitching and from completing all those projects this year. It's definitely been a busy year. So I wanted to give you an update on all those projects that I was hopeful of getting done in 2020. Now, I know a lot of you have asked about the Denim Crazy Quilt. I've still been working on it, um, but I've decided to change gears. It's going to have very little embroidery on it. It's still going to have some of the boro or cantha stitching on it. But I realized that I really want this to be a picnic quilt. I want it to be something I can throw out on the ground. I'm not going to worry about it getting dirty. I can throw it in the washing machine. So I've switched gears a little bit and I'll be sharing that with you in a future video. The other project that I finished was the linen heart. Um, and I did get that turned into a bag and I've filmed extensively on that. So what I would like to hear from you is, would you rather just see a video of the finished project or would you rather see the nitty gritty detail of how I put that bag together? And I do have a doll quilt video that is almost ready to go. That should go up pretty quickly after this one. And that's where I use those basic blocks with the birds in it. I put it together into a cute little doll quilt for the grandkids to use. Well, now you know some of the things that have been keeping me from getting my crazy quilt projects done that I had anticipated doing in 2020. Definitely have got some changes in plans. And I think this year is going to be just as busy as last year but I do have a lot of things that I would love to share with you in the coming weeks and months. Until I see you next time, be healthy and well, happy stitching. I will see you in the next video.